What's up agents and welcome back to another division build video. I finally got my unicorn back. I was never able to make this build video because my unicorn was taken away from me and now the division have finally given it me back with the patch that happened today. I've got to put together a build I've wanted to do for such a long time. Just before I show you, be sure to hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up and hit the bell so you are notified when I upload more Division videos. Even better, come on over to Twitch. I could be streaming live right now. Hit that follow button. And if you need a community Discord, there has never been a better time to join. You'll find the link down below in the description. And with all that said, let's take a look at the build. What I'm going to do, obviously at the moment you can see it's got strikers involved and I will compare this at the end to my obliterator, ob obliterate strikers build that I posted recently. That's definitely my favourite build of the moment. Uh, you get a lot of damage really quickly. You don't have to contend with any stacks over 50 with strikers that can be an absolute pain. Even though you can use the shotgun, it's just not ideal. Uh, it's just the best all round kind of strikers build, I believe. Uh, but this one is absolutely a contender but this one has a blue uh, now you can put more than one blue into this you can just run one blue like me but if you want that little bit of extra survivability without taking a huge damage drop off this one might be the build for you but be warned this is a pretty hard piece to farm now it depends how serious you want to take that and i'll show you why in just a second so i'm in the heroic range right now i'm on the invulnerable elites uh, I'm going to build my striker stacks up really quickly. And uh, there we go, right at the top end. Pull out my Kingbreaker. And you can see now, we get some damage numbers. Which actually look a bit off. There we go, it finally caught up. 1.485 million. So really nice. Almost 1.5 million. And no real messing around. You know, you've got, we've only got half the striker stacks to worry about. I like to use the lefty now, I like having the option of the grenade for sledgehammer uh, and I think as long as you can control the lefty you can build stacks really easy to the body uh, but it's some really really nice damage. So let's put you out of the misery and let's see the build. So we're using technician with AR damage with the linked laser pointer uh, the reason why we want this here because spotter requires targets to be pulsed. We've got crit chance on the top and we've got crit chance here as well and then we've got the extended mag and the linked laser pointer. The lefty that I talked about before, you can run an ACS-12, you can run a rock and roll, whatever you like here. Uh, I've got crit chance on it, I've got more crit chance, and i got a reload speed there. But as you can see, it just hits super, super quick. Uh, you can spam it, and I've not even maximised this one, but uh, the sledgehammer perk, dealing damage with a grenade, applies a mark on a target, and targets will... Then take 40% more damage uh, and have 30% less movement speed. The movement speed doesn't really work on bosses it seems but for regular ads if you really need it it does. Uh, really nice. Any offhand you want it really doesn't matter. Strikers I'll go over that very quickly. We're taking the backpack but two piece strikers gets us weapon handling and some rate of fire which is really nice for the kingbreaker and then strikers gamble gives us up to uh, 1% extra weapon damage uh, up to 100 times because we're using the backpack and we get the risk management talent that upgrades that to 1%. Uh, stack between uh, 0 and 50, lose at 1 a second and then 2 a second between 50 and 100. Uh, if you wanted to check out the stats on that, I've got weapon damage, crit damage and crit chance. On the mask, I've got crit damage, crit chance. On the gloves, I've got weapon damage, crit damage. And on the knees, I've got weapon damage, crit chance. And really, that's just me getting as close to 60% critical hit chance as possible. And then you put everything else into damage. Now, I'm using this here. This is the closer chest piece. And it's an absolute unicorn to try and get. When I got it back, I had uh, weapon handling rolled on, I think it was, instead of critical hit chance but they fixed it today to give us our rolls back and if it got messed up even more they gave you the ability to re-roll as well so we got everything back which was really really cool uh, but it's the uh, Uzina Getica brand set it comes with 5% total armor and this is what I was talking about before with a little bit of survivability built in 
Uh, and if you really needed to, you could run this core attribute as a blue. Uh, and run just get yourself a, a, a bit of an easier farm. A double red uh, attribute. So crit hit chance and crit hit damage. Roll the core, keep the core attribute as blue. And that will be fine as well. Because then that gives you the option to just get crit hit chance. And then roll crit hit damage or vice versa. It really doesn't matter. You don't quite have to have the all red unicorn that I have here. Talent wise, perfect spotter amplifies total weapon damage and skill damage by 20% to pulsed enemies. And that's why we need the linked laser pointer. But it's instant 20% extra multiplicative damage. And that's why uh, I put this build together. Now we've got the, uh, the Picaro's holster here. We've got some ammo. We've got armor on the on the top. We can't roll a red on this. It's bugged at the moment. They're looking into it. Uh, but obviously that plays in with our 5% total armor there as well. So we get a little bit extra. Uh, we've got critical hit chance and weapon damage. So it's almost like having that red attribute anyway. Basically giving us two. Got some skill here. It's not really a problem. So for some reason my gun has had all its mods stripped, which is odd. I'm sure they were just on a second ago. But anyway, I said crit chance here. I said crit chance here. And I said extended mag. And if we look at that now, that will take us to 56% crit chance, 93% critical hit damage, and 75% headshot damage. Really, really nice. We've got some targets out of cover damage because you get that native on the assault rifle. You can see that there. Uh, and also you can see my the weapon damage is 16% extra because my Kingbreaker has some expertise levels. So what we'll do, we'll take it for a run over in the Lincoln Memorial and we'll see how it goes. And then after that, we'll nip back to the range and I'll compare it to my Obliterate build uh, that I run on a daily basis. We'll go with building stacks first of all. You could use a fast gun instead, a police M4 or, or something like that. You don't have to use the shotgun then. That would still work as well. we slow on switching guns then. But you can see the enemy is getting pulsed. Oh, I knew he was there. You know, and that's just instant damage where, a bit like glass cannon, instant damage, uh, whereas obliterate, you have to build them stacks up. We're already building one set of uh, stacks up with strikers. We really don't want to be having to do it again if we don't have to. Freeze it so far. Only got halfway to my striker stacks as well so far, so we know we've got lots more damage to come. Agent. You'll need to find a way to open that gate. Might be tough building the stacks in this area here. But we'll see what we can do. We'll risk it for a biscuit. Actually, it wasn't too bad. Oh, we're getting put off at the side. Oh, that is not good. Well, what can you say when a chunga comes out that door? That is always going to hurt. And we got that guy behind us. Let's get out of here. Oh, oh, oh I thought I was dead then. That would have been embarrassing. But we'll uh, we'll leave the fo the footage run. You know, it's a true test of the build. It's mainly a damage build, but enough survivability in to take a chunk from a chunga. And I think that's normally where your your all red builds do fail. What is going on with my screen here? Can you guys see the red flashing? A bit odd. I don't know if you guys got to see that then. But. We are still alive, and that is why we run our Reviver Hive. Just as a side note while running through this, I'm running the new apparel. I did post a video with all of the new apparel. 
Uh, let me know down below what you guys think. Good event or not a good event. Getting some strange flickering. Not sure if it's just my monitor or you guys can see it or not. But I guess I'll find out when I edit the video. I mean, damage is, is great. Really great. Love, absolutely love Spotter. Good long distance in then. Boss, bye. And we're only just over halfway with our striker stacks there as well because we did a bit of running around. So that is a lot of damage. So let's nip back quickly to the base of operations. And we'll just do our final test here. I don't usually like to uh, compare a build to a build because really a lot of this is about how much fun you have with the build and if it's right for you playstyle wise but we'll do it this time because they are very very similar and obviously obliterate is easy to pick up pick up as opposed to getting one of these so we'll run it on the same invulnerable section invulnerable elite five meters and we'll build the stack So there we go, switch to our Kingbreaker. And you can see 1485. 1485. Nip away. I already have the other build saved. There you go, you can see it here. So it's the same, same guns. Uh, but we're we run these two pieces instead. And we're just gonna see if 1485 will get beat. So we'll have a bit more build up this time because you can see obliterate stacking at the same time. We'll go ahead. So obliterate is, is just about 100k more. Just about 100k more. But obviously we have to make sure you build the obliterate stacks as well. Whereas the one from the other build is instant damage. There is no building stacks. The minute that is pulsed, that is instant. So both very, very even in damage, both really, really good. This build you will find on my YouTube as well, a little bit easier to put together. But for me, running the, might as well run the blue. I know it's only one blue with 5% extra armor damage, 5% uh, extra, extra armor, but I might as well run that. Why, why not? It's doing the same damage pretty much as this one is. Let's take the survivability. Let me know what you think down below in the comments are you running some extra survivability are you running a little bit more than i am i would appreciate the comments down below don't forget to hit subscribe and give the thumbs up your youtube support has been immense so every subscribe every follow every thumbs up it all counts so thank you very very much don't forget to come over to twitch and say hi and follow me over there as well and i will see you all in the next video thank you for watching agents goodbye